Welcome back to the channel. This is the Action Figure Grader. It's Friday. It's time for me to spend your money, hopefully. There's lots of good items out there. And so this is my what to buy on eBay video for stuff that is ending roughly this weekend. I think all of these are auctions. We've got vintage collections, some mint on cards, all kinds of really interesting items. You can see a Japanese poppy. I've got two of those, actually, from a trusted seller. And... Just in general, there's a lot of really cool items out there across every budget. Uh, as always, in the video description, there will be eBay affiliate links. And if you want to bid low using the link and then come back to try and win it later, it does help out the channel, and I appreciate those of you that do that to help support the channel. Okay, let's... Oh, and before I dig it any further, uh, this is the first video that I've made since... James Earl Jones passed away and I just it would be I'd be remiss I'm not like a big like going through the history of his uh you know of different people and you know things like that but I do want to at least acknowledge his passing he was an incredible actor uh, I read an article that talked about uh, Star Wars and someone asked him what, what do you uh, you know what's your role in Star Wars and he said I'm I'm the uh I'm the special effects, the voice special effects for Darth Vader. So uh, he was very humble about his role, but uh, the iconic nature of his voice has really made Darth Vader what he is today in the pantheon of movies. I was I was pretty surprised. They, they came out with the top 100 villains of all time, and Darth Vader was only number three behind Hannibal Lecter and somebody else who I can't even remember. But... Uh, the idea that Darth Vader is not the most iconic villain to me is uh, not true. I mean, to me, Darth Vader is easily number one. I know I'm biased since I'm a Star Wars fan, but even the casual non-Star Wars fan knows that raspy, uh, you know, everyone knows that. It doesn't matter whether you're a Star Wars fan or not, so... Uh, R.I.P. to James Earl Jones. He's certainly going to be missed. He, and beyond Star Wars, he was obviously an iconic actor and uh, just truly going to be missed. So, all right. So let's dig into some of the items that are available on eBay. I, I believe, like I said, all of these are auctions. This seller has three different TVC. He might have some others. You, you can check out his other inventory. But these are the three I wanted to show you. Uh, this is an uncirculated 90 grade from Collector Archive Services for VCP03, the rocket firing Boba Fett. So, very nice example, and it is uncirculated. So, when they submitted it, they sent it in the mailer box factory sealed. 90, 90, 95 are the subscores on that one. And all of these TVC end Sunday evening. He also does have an uncirculated 85 plus Han Solo in carbonite. And uh, this is from the Jabba's Palace exclusive playset. So 85 plus on that one. And that's a pretty nice looking example there. And then he also does have for sale in an auction the reuse from that same Jabba the P Jabba's Palace playset. So uh, that one is graded uncirculated 90. And so there's a three that are ending Sunday evening for those of you that are into graded vintage collection. Uh, LM Lane 3, a seller I bought from in the past, he has a really nice looking die cast Y Wing. It does have kind of the standard discoloration from where the bomb attaches, but it does include the bomb, as you can see up there in the upper left. But it does have that discoloration on the bottom there from where the bomb usually attaches. Otherwise, pretty clean shape for the die cast bomber. You know, just some light chips around the, uh, the, the front guns there, but. You know, very very nice example. If you're into die casts and just want a display piece, that one should end for a relatively reasonable price, I would think. Uh, here is a factory sealed collector series patrol dewback, and the box looks to be in pretty clean condition. Not graded, but it is factory sealed. So, for those of you looking for that one, that that one should hopefully end at a reasonable price. That one's at a hundred and six dollars. And that one does end Monday at 1.53 p.m. Eastern Time. But that's a very nice looking box. Should grade about an 80, I would think, if you decide to grade that. I got two different really nice 12-inch figures. The first one is an AFA 75 with 75, 80, 90 subscores for the IG-88. 
So the 15 inch IG88 factory sealed. This is a very rare one, easily the rarest of the bunch and typically goes for a lot of money. It's still very low relative to what I think it's gonna end up at. I couldn't tell you exactly what it's gonna end up at, but I, if I had to roughly guess, I would think it's gonna end up around at least $3,000. That's my guess. 75, 80, 90 are the subscores on that one. And he did show here that the, the little tie that goes around either the waist or the legs has, has potentially come loose there. So just bear that in mind as you're bidding. But who cares? It's a very rare factory sealed IG88 from the 12-inch line. I can tell you that it's going to go for a ton of money. Uh, on to Gold Star Tech. This is a seller that I've highlighted in a number of price guides and I bought from in the past and been extremely happy with my purchases. Uh, they have a 12-inch Luke Skywalker AFA 75. This one is also factory. Uh, I'm sorry. This one is qualified. Qualified grade. Uh, they've got the box of 75, window 75, and then figure 85. Qualified 75 grade. So this is not factory sealed, but it is unused contents. Um, but that's a very nice example. That one's at $350 and ends Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. I've got a bunch from Gold Star Tech just because they've got so many really nice items that come up for auction regularly. I did not include everything, so go check out their other auctions, but uh, they just have so many listings because they really focus on electronics and like gaming gear and things like that. So if you go to sellers other items and then use the search window and just type in Star Wars, it'll pull up all their Star Wars stuff. That's a good way to quickly filter out all the electronics. Uh, but this is a 47 back free four limb offer for Princess Leia. So that's a pretty tough card to find and it looked to be in really good shape. There is a tear on the back right there at the top. So maybe it gets probably a 75 uh, blister looks really good, although you could maybe argue it's starting to yellow. So 75, I'll say 80, 80. And so probably an overall 75 plus would be my guess on the grade on that one. That one's only at $89. That just got listed this morning uh, before I had a chance to send it out to, buy, to my Patreon supporters. Uh, here is a Top Toys Argentina Stormtrooper. So these are made in Argentina. This one does have the discoloration on the Stormtrooper. The, the Top Toys figures were made in Argentina, so they are, are different figures versus the standard license figures uh, that are made in Hong Kong and Taiwan and things like that. Uh, so this one, uh, you know, is known to have yellowing on the torso of the figure. Here's the back of the car. We've highlighted a few of these here recently, but this is a beautiful Top Toys Argentina Stormtrooper that I think would grade out at about an 80. It looks to be still a clear blister, but, you know, it's hard to see. Uh, the blisters are very, very fragile. They're kind of glued on. So they, you know, this one could be a reseal. It's hard to tell. You know, there's definitely some issues going on there. So just bid accordingly. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a reseal personally. I think it's just what it is. It's Top Toys Argentina blisters are very, are known to be kind of very poorly assembled. I guess I'll just leave it at that. But that one's at 73 bucks, but it is ungraded, so just bid accordingly that you are taking some risk there that it could be resealed. Uh, but that's a beauty. 73 bucks is the current bid on that one. Uh, they also did just list a factory sealed Return of the Jedi box for the ATST Walker, the Scout Walker. Um, so that one is at $100 and uh, also ends Sunday evening. They've got an AFA 80. Luke Skywalker Jedi Palatoy Trilogo. So this is a very nice example there. This one's got the cape on. 80, 75, 85 are the subscores on that one. That one's at 305. You can probably easily double that price. That one ends Saturday. So again, some of these Gold Star lists in small batches and they're kind of continuing being listed until I guess he runs out of inventory. But uh, so this one ends Saturday, some of the others end Sunday. But this one is a beauty. And with the 75 subscore for the blister, maybe you get lucky and it stays for below 600 bucks. I think it won't. I think it will sell for over 600, but who knows? A pretty harsh score, by the way, on the blister. That blister does not look like a 75. I've got one that, or I had one that was a 75, and my blister was not nearly this pristine. So I thought that was a little harsh on the grading there, but it did get the overall 80. So I guess that's the difference between mine, which got the 75. Uh, but that's a beauty, and that one does have the cape on variation. 
Uh, another Palatoy Tri logo. This one in Saturday as well. This is the Palatoy Tri logo Luke Skywalker Stormtrooper disguise. Now, this one does have a mark through the factory one pound fifty nine pence with the Tesco sticker ninety nine pence. So somebody got this for ninety nine pence originally. Um, just bear in mind, I don't know how AFA treats it. I think that AFA uh, would not grade this because of this of the the cross through it but i don't know that for sure i know that ukg and cas will grade it they will grade it and the, you know they'll probably ding it accordingly but um uh, i think this you know because the blister is kind of rough anyway that it, i don't think that this is going to affect the, the the score at all i think what's really going to affect the score is the blister i think it's like a 70 grade so don't overbid on this one it's already at 466 dollars but I think even in this condition, it's probably going to sell for closer to eight or nine hundred dollars, if not above that. I mean, we saw an AFA eighty five that CIB listed at auction that sold for stupid money, like seventeen hundred dollars, and I think I had that in a recent video. Um, so just keep that in mind as you're bidding that you know eight or nine hundred dollars may not get it done even in this condition. But this one does in Saturday evening. Uh, here are some. Poppies that they that Gold Star Tech listed. This is an AFA 85 Poppy Chewbacca. Very nice. That one in Sunday. And then they also did just list an AFA 85 Poppy for the Han Solo in Hoth Battle Gear. Uh, that one uh, is encased differently. It's not with everything splayed out. Uh, 152.50 is the current bid on that one. That one also in Sunday. Uh, speaking of Han Hoth, here is an AFA 85 Tan Pants. Hong Kong that just got listed. It's right now it's at 28 cents. You can be sure that it's not going to sell for that. Uh, that one in Sunday evening from a trusted seller that a number of you have bid on using my affiliate links with this seller. So thank you, whoever's been doing that. I really appreciate the channel support. But that one's a beautiful AFA 85 tan pants. I don't have this variation and I want to buy this, but I'm not going to. Don't buy it for me. Buy it for yourself. Uh, but that one is a beauty. Uh, next up is a dark blue emblem Death Squad Commander. So this is the dark blue, which is a little easier to find, I feel like. AFA 85, new case style. That one's already at 100 bucks, and that one ends also Sunday evening. Uh, this seller's got a couple of gems that end Sunday around 12.30 Eastern time. The first one is a 77 back A Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight. Not much yellowing on the blister either. It's not graded. It just comes in like an AFA case. But this one is pretty pristine, if you ask me. I think this one easily gets an 80 or an 80+. plus. It is yellowed, so just keep that in mind. But pretty much every 77A Luke Jedi is yellowed. But it's very light yellowing. Now, in the upper left-hand corner, or right-hand corner, I don't know what's going on there. I don't know if that's just pulling away from the card or if this is a reseal. So bid accordingly. But I don't think that's a reseal. I think that's just... Uh, you know, pulling away from the card. You can see it's starting to lip at the bottom of the card as well. So uh, this one is just one where the, the, the factory seal is starting to fail. That's my guess, okay? I don't know for sure. Do your homework as you're bidding on these, but you could ask for more pictures or maybe ask him, uh, you know, is this a reseal? But uh, I don't think it is personally, but it could be. Next up is a Darth Vader. This one looks perfect to me. I don't see any issues at all with this one. This is the 65 back A clear blister. This is another one I would like to pick up. I got the 60. No, I got the 65 B, I think, uh, in my collection. But this is a beauty. Another one that I think probably gets an 80 pretty easily. The only hang up would be that little ding on the side of the of the card there. You can kind of see that on the back right there. I think it gets a 75 for the card. 85 for the blister, 85 for the figure, and gets an, an overall 80 pretty easily. Very nice example, though, and um, that one also ends Sunday morning. Finally, we're going to finish off with CIB and then one Power of the Force 2 prototype. Uh, the first one from CIB is a 75-plus factory-sealed Rebel Transport on the Empire Strikes Back packaging. This is a very tough combo to find. You don't see it pop up graded very often. And that one's already at 9.10. It ends Sunday evening. And CIB has a ton of other inventory that's all ending Sunday. Uh, a lot of it's already gone what I consider to be above fair market value. So I'm not going to highlight them. But you can check out uh, their other inventory that all ends Sunday evening. They got some hot try logos and things like that. But I did want to point this one out because I think that this one's still below fair market value. 
It's probably in the 1500 range would be my guess on this one. It'll probably go for more than that because it's CIB, but that's my guess. Uh, they also do have some Power of the Force 2 and Episode 1 figures. They've got a AFA-90 Darth Maul. That's already big money. Uh, they've got an AFA-85 or 90 Luke Skywalker Long Saber, Power of the Force 2. And then this one is the one I wanted to highlight because it's an uncirculated 80 retooled shadows darth vader so this is a uh, you know for those of you that follow power of the force 2 you know what this is but this is a figure that was i think only available at jc penny where they used the retooled figure from the power of the force 2 pack with prince zizor and so they re you know they kind of re-encased it in a single carded figure you can tell because it's got that little flare to the cape there that goes underneath the lightsaber hilt. I used to have this in my collection. This is an AFA uncirculated 80. It's at 38 bucks, but this is one that's very tough to find. I mean, it's not super tough, but it's tougher than most Power of the Force 2. So if you're into Power of the Force 2, we got that one for you. And then finally is a first shot prototype Lando Skiff from Barry C, who runs Toy Curious. I bought from this seller before. Great dude. He's got an incredible prototype collection. This one includes a prototype staff as well as an unpainted prototype helmet. Uh, great looking figure there. And the starting bid is very reasonable. It's at $156 or 120 pounds. And I think it's going to go for 250 or so. That's my guess. You might get lucky and get it for less than that. But if you're into prototypes, that's a nice looking example from a trusted seller. As always, thank you for using the affiliate links in the video description. Uh, good luck with the auctions this weekend for those of you that are out there bidding. Thanks again for watching, and I'll be back soon.